morning, Arnie here. I'm here to talk about non-alcoholic beers this morning. I must be honest with you, I know very little about non-alcoholic beers. So we're doing a quick internet internet search. There's um, um, uh, an article on the difference between alcoholic and non-alcoholic beers. And it says that bars, pubs and supermarkets stock a growing range of alcohol-free drinks and beers, which means it's easier than ever to cut back on your alcohol intake. Of course, in South Africa, this is all proliferated because of the ban on alcohol sales during the lockdown. Um, so, what do we know about, about it? Here we go. Alcohol labeling. There are four types of um, categorization used in alcohol-free beer. And you will see here, alcohol-free beer, no more than 0. 0.05 ABV. De-alkalized beer, no more than 0. 0.05. Low alcohol beer, no more than 1.2%. Uh, and then alcoholic beer, which contains more than 1.2%. Uh, so... Why does alcoholic, non-alcoholic beer contain some alcohol? You'll see here on this it says, um, Heineken says 0, 0.0 alcohol free, but apparently there is still alcohol. Even the Devil Speak beer that we're looking at, it says uh, non-alcoholic, and it says contains less than 0.05% volume alcohol. Um, so... It says alcoholic free beer does contain small amounts of alcohol and this is because some alcohol naturally forms part of the brewing process. <sighs> How is it made? Manufacturers have two ways of reducing alcohol content of their beer. They can remove the alcohol from the finished product or make sure that alcohol doesn't form during the brewing process. One of the most common methods is to heat the beer and to boil away the alcohol. Another is to pass the beer through a filter, which takes away the alcohol. So there you go. That's how they make it. Is alcohol-free beer less fattening than, al uh, non than alcoholic beer? Alcohol-free beer does tend to contain less calories than alcohol alcoholic beers. Drinks also labeled as light beers usually have less alcohol and fewer calories. So there you go. Yes, it does. What are the health benefits? Well, they reduce your risk. They can reduce your calories. Um, low alcohol and alcohol-free beers will have fewer alcoholic units in them. Let's stop there for a minute. Yeah, Arnie here again. Um, what we want to do now is kind of taste this non-alcoholic uh, beer. Here's the famous brand one. We're going to pour it. There you go. If you look at it, you'll notice um, there are bubbles coming from the bottom. That sort of looks good. Color is really nice. Forms a nice head. Um, looks quite good, um, I think. I don't know what you think at home. Um, let me have a little sip. You know, it tastes quite like the real thing. Um, but there's a funny aftertaste. And it almost, not a fullness that you'd find with a real beer, it's almost, you know, it leaves a kind of a, I don't know, like a mentholy, but mentholy is the wrong word, taste in your mouth. Uh, let's look at um, the, the website Insider, and um, they've done a lot of beer tasting. Uh, you look on my screen here, I'll, I'll try and zoom in. Um, they've done some beer tasting on non-alcoholic beers and they did blind tasting um, with very meticulous tasting they tried to produce the beers in anonymity and they noted down the beers and labeled them you know the typical thing but like wine tasting there's the beer labeled with a number and that's the first beer she tried uh, color wise it was one of the two options that we were in the dark amber side that she looked at um, there she's doing her nose. She looked at the bubbles. She said, good bubbles. Thin surface foam. Well, let's look what's happening to the foam on our beer. It's disappearing quite quickly. I don't know if you noticed that. The head's disappearing. 
Um, she said it tasted like and smelt um, like normal beer. Um, the most surprising thing was it was actually really pleasant. This is, I can say that this famous brand beer, the initial taste is pleasant. There is that bitterness as well. On the second sip, if some told me this was a cool craft beer brand with inflated ideals that was brewed in a warehouse in a gentrified area, I would believe them. No questions asked. That's what she says. So she still liked it. Um, no, there we go. Beer number two she tastes and another dark ale. Let's move on. So it won't keep you too long. Um... She didn't like all of the beers. She asked, really, for one of them? Uh, Budweiser Alcohol Free Beer was contestant number three. You can see it on the screen at the moment. Oh, I don't know how clear this is. Um, ah, Budweiser, for me, is the flavor of teenage house parties. Very popular American beer. But this wasn't all bad. There was quite a few negative points against this beer, though it had been served cold, by my own mistake I know. I imagine it would have been refreshing non-alcoholic option at a summer barbecue braai. Um, that scored 3 out of 5. The penultimate was beer number 4, uh, but look how the foam is disappearing. Okay, let's go back to our beer again. You can see the foam has almost disappeared within minutes. Uh, so, I also looked at the Heineken in this review as well. Uh, and number five was the clear winner. Okay, let's go to the other beer. This is the Devil's Peak beer. I've already tasted it. Uh, it's called Hero. Um... I must say, um, the fruitiness of this beer was incredible. Um, there are times when a non-alcoholic beer is a must. At Devil's Peak, we are proud to brew a Euro that is close to zero and still tastes like a full beer. Be a Euro. Fortune favors the bold. Well, there you go. That's the Devil's Peak. W the, really, the honey fruitiness of this beer is really great and, and does... On the, on the sweet side and it does taste nice um, but again you get that initial taste it's really um, a buzz and then whoop, it stops it's like you haven't been drinking beer that's the feeling I have with this beer that I've been drinking now by the way if you look at my computer you'll notice the time I'm doing this is 5.01 in the morning um, I thought Tasting non-alcoholic beers, you could do it any time of the day. Not really a problem. So, what did I think of non-alcoholic beers? Well, didn't really like them. Uh, you'll see the pictures that follow. Um, I'm actually in the process of giving them away. Um, I, I'd rather not drink beer. Um, give me one alcoholic beer in a month and I'll be happy. See you again. Here are some friends um, receiving their free beers on their way home, bon voyage, they, they can drink it on, on the way home because there's no alcohol in it. Um, I don't know how be this beer makes you feel, you might feel like this zebra here. These photographs, you might want to go on a nice picnic, take your beer with you, you might want to change to coffee, you might feel great like an elephant. Um, by the way, these images are all from a website called unsplash.com and you can get free royalty free photographs from this website beautiful images um hope you leave with a good taste bye bye